my name is Maria from Maddie's Way of Life. I am a first grade teacher for the first year this year in California. And I'm going to go ahead and start my Wednesday by telling you what I put in my reference rack. And in order to tell you that, I'm going to do it just from far away because there is a lot of like district information and stuff that I keep here. Not all of them are impacted or have something in it because I remove and add things as I go. So one of the most important things that I do add to this, we do offer Saturday school for students. So I do have all my Saturday dates there. Then I also have on the other side, our school calendar, like our yearly calendar for teachers, just so that we can see everything that's going on, our days off, early outs, all of that mess. Then on the other side, in the second pocket, so I do it back to back, and then on the second po pocket, I add the school schedule, and on the back, the um, our 2018-19 meeting schedule. So the district provides us with, well, these are all the teacher meetings. Then on this side, I just have the instructional minutes so that I can keep them handy. On the back side of this, I have the student's transportation um, method. Just, and this one's the one that gave, they gave us to us at the beginning of the year. It has been edited throughout, but I just make my notations here. Um, then here, I don't know what that is. <laughs> but on this side, I have our computer lab schedule and also our um, library schedule. So I leave it here handy. The other thing I have here are um, district benchmark dates, like any benchmarks that are due or upcoming and what is the open window for it, then I have them there. I also have very handy, so, uh, bye baby. Sorry, I had to take a phone call. Um, so on the other side, oh, so I keep really handy the, okay, so I also have very handy a list of the school codes or phone numbers so that we can call other rooms so all of the extension numbers are on one sheet and then i just go ahead and use that also all the time so this is why i love this thing the other thing i have is different schedules like that for early outs now the other thing i have i do have like this one i should have taken out already it are like important like spirit week flyers like if there's a flyer that is super important or maybe even like picture day and just so you know i have started <laughs> i don't know where i left off to be honest and i don't know how these clips are going to turn out just because i have received like at least not kidding six phone calls and two um people walking into my room so i don't know how this is gonna come out and i don't know if i've repeated any of these but i have to make sure i do this because i uploaded a video for monday and tuesday of this week uh last night or was it this morning i can't even remember i think it was this morning and so one of the questions that came out in my comments last time was what do i put on my reference rack behind me because they're trying to put one together so senorita unicornio this is for you and i thought it was super important and to be honest like one of the videos that i really want to do is like my top five things for first year teacher teachers and this is like one of them and even like when you're not a first grade a first grade a first year teacher like oh my goodness there are this stuff that I still see in other teacher vlogs that I'm like, why didn't I think of that before? And it just helps me become better organized and really as in turn, I become a better teacher because I'm ready to go and I am not trying to look for a million things and you know, while the students are here. So um, that way we can use all that academic time that they're in here wisely. Um, just like we tell them, let's use our time wisely. And a good way to use our time wisely is to be organized. Um, so anyway, I don't know what I've said at this point, but the last things that I wanted to cover are just important flyers that come from the office. Like right now, I just, I was helping create a 
a gobble gram flyer so i just gave that to pto and i know that's something i want to keep handy just because of the dates where is it located what's going to happen when where why and so that way if parents contact me on dojo and then i have that handy um awards assemblies anything like that oh my goodness it's awesome some of them are not permanent uh papers files that stay there because they are just um events that are happening during that week or the following month or whatever and then i remove them once the event is over so that's what is on my reference rack and i really enjoy it it's my if not my number one like at least my number my top three because my number one is my ladder <laughs> just because i love to decorate my room and i cannot be without my ladder as a teacher i need that for my bulletin board so i think that would be my number one and i know it's the weirdest thing why a ladder i don't think i've ever heard any vlogger say that before but yeah a ladder so i i think i'm gonna go ahead and work on my top five things or maybe even 10 things um but really like my five items that, that i find really useful as a teacher are not that expensive and this thing i think it was like 22 dollars Señorita Unicornio, if you bought it um, um, from that link, I think you also asked me for the link. I'm not sure, but it was a while back. Um, let me know how much it is now. Um, I had to go back to my first year teaching at this school. So I don't know, like four years ago, five, and I still found the link and they're still selling it. So I really like this one and it does come with a stand, but I asked the custodian if he could just uh, mount it on the wall and he was able to do that for me. And I love it so much better because that way I used to have it here before. Once I bought my printer at the beginning of this year and of last year, I really wanted the space for my printer here and I didn't want any additional furniture pieces here. So I think this worked out perfect for me. I'm going to go ahead and I'm excited to cut these out because I made labels for my Ikea organizer and I just used uh, one fab teachers toolbox labels and i kind of enlarged them just a little bit i just did it without measuring so we'll see how it goes and these are just her regular toolbox labels so i think this will fit good for the top three drawers if you don't know what i'm talking about go ahead and check out my vlog where i put my new ikea organizer and that's where it is and then i also did more labels for the stuff i was organizing yesterday um parents donated a cube system and i tried to organize it last night um and now i need a couple of labels for my manipulatives and a couple of um fun friday games and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and keep moving so that i can cut these they're not an emergency and they're probably not top priority right now but because they're gonna make me happy they have just become top priority um so i'm gonna go ahead and work on that because i'm so excited to see not a complete work because i still need to organize books and at least it'll look better aesthetically so i'm gonna keep moving forward i'm gonna get some stuff ready i forgot to celebrate a birthday yesterday for the love of god and today is awards assembly so yeah i have a busy busy day like always there's nothing new in the teaching life and the teaching career for those of you professionals out there you know hustling um teachers i congratulate you and know that we are very important to these kiddos and know that no matter what there are parents that appreciate you and they're the kids uh, that you service um if not all i know that a percent of them you are impacting today Keep doing what you do and let me keep moving with my day.